I'm Tom, and I'm here to tell you five facts about the Venus flytrap. These amazing carnivorous plants are adapted to grow in incredibly nutrient-poor environments, and they do this by getting nutrients from trapping insects in their leaves. The main source of food for Venus flytraps is actually insects. They eat flies, slugs, snails, crickets, spiders, but don't worry, humans are off the menu. On the inside of the leaf surface, they have three little hairs, and those hairs need to be touched twice within around 20 seconds in order for the leaf to shut close. When triggered, the traps close in less than half a second, and it takes around 10 days for the insect inside to be digested. One of the biggest threats to this plant is actually from humans, and that's the illegal collection of these plants from the wild. It's time to learn about growing Venus flytraps. These little plants can be challenging to grow, but if you follow these rules, you can try it at home. Grow in an open, nutrient-free soil. They don't want to be too cold and left outside in the winter to be frosted. And they don't want to be too hot right by a radiator. Keep your plant in a bright, cool place like a windowsill. It's important that the soil is always kept damp and that you water it with rainwater. As tempting as it is, don't trigger the traps. If there isn't food inside, it's damaging the plant. Venus flytraps are perennial plants, which means they can grow for many years. In the winter, they actually go dormant and die back. So don't be alarmed and throw them out. Keep them moist and they should grow again in the spring. Remember, Venus flytraps don't need to be fed and they're best at catching the food themselves. Yeah.